Black people thriving and achieving in passions and projects that project and protect the true potential of black voices. Students at this Burnaby High School are celebrating Black Excellence Day. Schools across the country are participating with over 30,000 students connected virtually. Communities of black kids from different schools are coming in today to watch demonstrations on black excellence. Grade 11 student Luliana Sahaye was one of the speakers and says black excellence goes beyond athletes and musicians and what we see on TV. Black people are resilient and after hundreds of years and centuries of injustice inflicted on to our people, we are still here and we've managed to thrive and not only thrive but excel in many spaces. Julan Miller, a grade 10 student, has her artwork featured on the shirts handed out at this event. Each book represent different trauma that a black person has faced, their stories that they never got the chance to tell, the stories that they never got the chance to share. So in here, a person is picking a person's brain about all the people that didn't get the chance to share their stories. Speakers share their experiences of racism. Sean, I like you, but you're black. And I have this feeling in my stomach they'll gain a sense of community amongst one another, that they'll be more comfortable talking um, to each other and, and expressing themselves and finding support in, in community as well. Black Excellence Day was founded by Vancouver organization Ninandotu Anti-Racism Society. Kamika Williams is one of the co-founders. Well, often the acknowledgments of our, our black Canadian heroes and leaders, their contributions go unacknowledged in our history books and in our, our curriculum. So we really wanted um, that to be the focus of, of this day. Others have struggled before me and I should be proud of that and honor that um, by not giving up. Beth Applewhite was the MC for Black Excellence Day and was happy to see such a large turnout of students. It can bring me joy, it can bring me hope, it can bring me, yes, resilience, maybe not by choice, but in that resilience there is strength. The purpose of the day encourages youth to be confident and to strive for their goals, like Luliana who wants to be a lawyer. I love to advocate for the people who can't have their voices projected as much as others. Julan has this message for those who feel unheard. Your voice, it might be one in a million, but one domino effect can change everything. So just keep yelling. In Burnaby, Angela Bauer, City News.